Hello, God's beautiful people. I am back with another word from the alert. If this is your first time here, my name is Tara and God uses me to speak into the lives of his children. If you are returning, I welcome you back and I welcome you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Y'all listen, let me encourage somebody because I know life can be difficult, okay? But God had in my time spending with him a few days ago and this came back to me again. Um, was just kind of comforting me and speaking life into me, reminding me um, who I am in him. And he said this, you're a champion. And I was like, okay, okay, alert. I like that. You're going somewhere with that. And that's, that's it. That's what I had heard. That was it. And I just kept getting this nudge, you know, to look up champion. And I'm like, I know what a champion is. I mean, that's somebody who it was one and everything. But did y'all know this? A champion not only is a winner, okay? First, pl first prize, first place. But, um... A champion is also someone who shows superiority, not arrogance, but superiority because we are in Christ. We're supposed to remain humble, but we know who our God is. And because of that, because of that, we are King's children. Honey, we is royalty and everything. I know I ain't got my crown on today. Today, I'm going to get me wonder. I'm is. Um... That puts us, that separates us from the world. It separates us from the world. And yes, that is a form of superiority, okay? It also means that you're an advocate advocate, or a defender. Wow, how wonderful is it? I mean, sometimes we don't think about all these adjectives, you know, that describes us as God's children, I mean, we advocate for the Lord. We advocate for what's right. We defend those who, who can't defend themselves. But this right here, blessed me the next two things that I'm about to say. It blessed me because sometimes we can feel really low. We can feel really weak. We can feel like we the scum under somebody's shoe. But let me remind you of something. You're a champion, which means you are a warrior. You are a fighter. Okay? Because of the Christ that's in you. Because of Jesus. There's nothing you can't do. I can do all things through Christ. All things. Not some things. Not one or two things. Baby, not that thing over there, but not this thing over here. All things greater is he that is in me than that that is in the world. You are a champion. Remember that. Operate in that. Persevere. Keep pushing. Fight your way through. Call on the Lord to give you strength. Lately, I've been really asking God, God, give me strength to get through this transition of everything that you're doing in this season because y'all it's big it's big and it's heavy and with it comes new burdens and new demons so set yourself up for battle why would the bible tell us to put on the full armor of god if we want warriors and fighters baby y'all better hit the streets honey with everything with your whole armor on and know who you are in Christ. Know without him, you just like everybody else. You have no power. You can't go and fight nothing or nobody. Because you're going to keep getting knocked down. Why? Because God has chosen you for bigger. He's chosen you for better. He has called you to be a warrior. You are a champion. I don't care what your circumstances look like. 
I don't care if your circumstances say defeated. I don't care if your circumstances say last but not first. I don't care if your circumstances say you are the tail and not the head. But because of who you are in Christ, I'm going to need you to know that you're already a champion. You have already won. Why? Because you are a warrior. You are a fighter. You have on the full armor of God. You clothe yourself in that armor and you face these situations knowing that the Lord is fighting with you, for you, and beside you and through you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Understand, you better hit these streets like greater is he that is in me than that that is in the world. You better hit these streets acting like you covered, smothered in the Lord. Because let me tell you, there are some things to come. And let me tell you, the burdens don't get easier once you get the breakthrough. I'm here to tell you. It doesn't. Just, just some more different kind of burdens show up. Different kind of enemies show up. Oh, she didn't give up? Oh, he didn't let us tear him down? Oh, let's, let's amp it up. Turn up the heat. But that's okay. You can turn up the heat. But baby, I'm just fighting in the spirit. Okay? That has to be your posture. It has to be your heart posture. It has to be your spiritual posture. Listen, you need to be 10 toes down in this season. Because let me tell you something. Things are happening and they're happening fast. Change is happening and it's happening fast. And God needs you to get on board. Come out of that low place. Stop the self-pity. Stop the woe is me. Come out of that low place. The Lord needs you and he needs you now. Get ready. Because in this season, things are changing. Things are changing. And you're a champion in all this. Nothing, nothing is going to remove you or nobody from the protection, the love, the anointing, okay, of Christ. Nothing. Only you can remove yourself. Don't do that. Just like God needs us to go forth in this ministry and what he's called us to do and to guide and lead his people and love on his people, you need him even more. Don't try to do this alone. Don't try to go at it alone. Don't take matters into your own hands. I am living proof that God is changing stories and he's changing lives. And it's big, y'all. It's big. I can't express that enough. So in this season, be obedient, even if it's not what you want to do. Even when you look around and you, you are being pulled further and further away from your family, God had to remind me this morning, look, I set you apart. That don't mean I told you to stop loving your family and friends. It doesn't mean that um, they're no longer your family in the natural, but I got something different in the spirit. See, your spiritual family is going to be different. Your spiritual family is going to protect you. Your spiritual family is going to uplift you. Your spiritual family is going to increase you. Your spiritual family is going to cover you. Listen, don't feel guilty. That's not necessary. But be obedient. Somebody, that's for somebody. Be obedient. I know you feel like you're being tugged away. You're being pulled in another direction. <laughs> Trust me, I am the poster child for that. But I will continue to serve the Lord. I will continue to go where he sends me. I always know when it's that time. Because every song the Holy Spirit plants in my spirit is about going. I'll go if I have to go by myself. Children, go where I send thee. All these songs. Listen, because y'all know the Lord speaks to me a lot through music. But listen, just be obedient. Your family will always be your family. But there are certain ways you're going to move that they're not going to understand. There are certain things that you can't tell them. 
There's certain things you can't confide, even your closest relatives. No, because why? Because although they're our family, it's not their walk and they don't understand. So unintentionally, they may say something or put their mouth on something or wish and hope something different. But God will is going to prevail. But you just don't want that those negative things in the atmosphere for the enemy to grab. So that's for somebody. So know that you're a champion in all this. Don't you dare give up. The body of Christ needs you. The people of this world, whether they know it or not, they need you. But most importantly, your heavenly father needs you. And I'm going to say he needs you because he chose you. He chose you of all the people in the world. He chose you. So I need you to get up. Clothe yourself in that full armor and be the warrior and the fighter and the champion that God has created you to be. I love y'all. I'll be back with another word from the Lord.